Okay, so here we are. Uh, what I've done is I've just cut a small piece of the uh, red cabbage off of the head here. I'm going to set the rest of the head off to the side. I don't want to make a whole lot of indicators, so I'm just going to use a small piece. The more, uh, more cabbage or the more vegetable you use, the uh, more tea you'll be able to make, the more indicator, and the darker it will be. So what we're interested in here really is this purple color here, this compound uh, in the red cabbage that makes it this dark, dark, beautiful purple, okay, which is what gives the red cabbage its name. It's called anthocyanin. Uh, it is a natural indicator, okay, and it comes in a lot of different color forms. Uh, so you'll see uh, these purples and reds and violets and blues. Uh, a lot of times in nature, those are anthocyanins. So we can get these out of here just by chopping this up, all right, and I'm going to chop this up. I'm going to put it in the bowl, and I have microwaved my pint of water here. A pint of water is about 200 milliliters. Shouldn't take much more than that. Uh, so you can see it's got some condensation here. So this is hot. Be careful when you're microwaving this. My microwave takes about two minutes to get this to near boiling hot. Okay, so I'm going to chop this up and put it in the bowl. Okay, so I've chopped it up and broken it up. We want a lot of surface contact here. What we're going to do is just soak this in the hot water, just like you were making tea. Just gonna pour this hot water on. Ow, that's really hot on my fingers. Okay, about 15 minutes is all you really need, but you should start to see the water turning color pretty quickly. You can see it's starting to turn a little blue already. So I'm gonna come back and check on this in 15 minutes and we should have a nice indicator solution ready. And I'll prove to you that it works and then I'll set you guys free to make your own. We are five minutes later and this has been steeping. Um, I'm in kind of a rush tonight so I'm not going to let it go any longer than this but you can let it go up to an hour. The longer you let it go the darker it will get. Okay. We don't want the water to be boiling because this would stink like crazy. Okay. But this is not offensive in its smell um, and it's probably the simplest way I know to make a cabbage indicator. Okay, so we have this nice blue solution. I'm just going to test a little bit of it. I'm going to take a little bit and put it in a ramekin over here. We'll see. You can see it's a very faint blue color right now. Okay, but you can definitely tell it's blue. And I'm just going to test this with a little bit of white vinegar, which is an acid, acetic acid. Okay, and we can see right away it turns pink, okay? So this is a really nice indicator. It's very, very simple to use, and this is stuff you can get in your market. Um, if you want a darker, deeper color, a stronger color change, let it steep for longer, cut it up finer, or better yet, take the bottom of a glass or a cup or something and crush it a little bit before you put the hot water on. That will break some of the cell walls and let that anthocyanin really get out into the water very, very quickly. Okay, we're gonna test our solutions here that we made. We made butterfly pea, we made red cabbage, we took royal poinciana flowers and put them in boiling water. We did, we're trying out bougainvillea flowers and water lily. And all these solutions were made by my lovely assistant. And we're gonna test them with an acid and a base. And the acid I'm using is gonna be just distilled white vinegar, and the base I'm using is baking soda. But what I want you guys to do is to try other things around your house. Uh, they can be stuff that you use to cook with, or stuff that you use to clean with. Cleaning supplies make great uh, things to try. Uh, but explore around and, and be creative, see what you can yeah. find. What do indicator solutions do? They change color when they're in the presence of an acid or a base. All right, and we have a base right here baking soda, sodium hydrogen carbonate, and we have an acid right here. White vinegar is about 5% acetic acid or ethanoic acid. So we're going to put the baking soda in all of this entire row to see what color we and get. And this in here. Well, we're going to put the acid, the vinegar, in the top row, see what colors we turn. Okay. All right, Abigail, go ahead and put a couple drops of acid in that top row for us, and we'll see... What color? What happens? Pink! Okay. 
Now the poinciana, the bougainvillea, and the water lily are unknown. I don't know if they'll lighter. work or not. But this one's getting lighter. Let's add a little more there so we can see oh. that color change. You didn't tell me to add that much. It's okay. You did a great job. I felt like I was adding too much. No, you did a good job. Okay, so we can see in the presence of an acid, the butterfly pea turned from this blue color to a pinky purple violet, Ooh. and the red cabbage lightened up. It got more pink. Red. I don't really see any huge changes in the other three. This one turned more white. Yeah, the bougainvillea cleared up a little bit, so that might be something for us to look at. All right, so now let's try the base. We're gonna do my other daughter. Oh, where's the spoon? The little one. She's gonna put some scoops of baking soda in the other ones, okay? Just little scoops, okay? Okay, put it right here. This one for me. All of it? Yep. Ooh, okay. blue. Well, that one turned blue. There you go, Fiona. Put it in the next one. Oh, he dumped it. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's only baking soda. Yeah. There you go. Put it in this one. Yes. Ooh. Pink. That one turned blue as well. No pink. Well, it's kind Wait. of foaming Ooh, up. Oh, it's foaming up! I didn't expect that to happen. No, that's unexpected. Blue, it's pink. But it is turning blue. The soda's turning blue, but the okay, water's Fiona. turning pink. Next one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that actually got purple, right I think. I think that got purple. That Ooh. didn't really do much change. It darkened a little bit. It did. It got a little, little greener orange. A little cloudy. Maybe. A little cloudy. <laughs> All right. Bougainvillea. That reaction was cool. Here you go. Let's try the bougainvillea. This one right here, Fiona. Oops. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're getting a change there. It's getting foamy. That's a cloud. That means that is probably a weak acid, that indicator. All right, last one. I want to put it in the water, Lily. No, she didn't have this one. She did. She put oh. it on. Can you put a bit more in there? Because it didn't really act. Mm. I mean, it didn't really change. It just went around the sides. All right, no real change there either. But notice that this one, this one, and this one all foamed up, which tells us that those are all weak acid indicators. And these this ones one. are probably weak bases as their normal form. All right, thank you. I like